kiss for you. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Welcome to my another video on Android app development. And so, guys, this will be the part five of my video series on Firebase in Android. All right, guys. So, in our previous videos, uh, I just completed the sign in and sign up using the email and password of the user. All right. So, guys, in this video, what I am going to show you is how to use the Google authentication using Firebase. Okay. So, uh, it's a very simple process. Okay. There are uh, there are certain steps. Uh, which I will I am going to uh, tell you okay so the first step is you need the SHA1 certificate okay I mean the fingerprint of your application so for that here you can see at the right side of the screen there is gradle button so you just need to open that and after that this type of window will be opened so click on app then you need to click on task and now you just need to click on android and double click on signing report all right there you go here you have this signing report and what you need is just uh, copy the SHA1 okay copy that close that okay change that back to app okay so as you have uh, copied that just close that okay and go to your firebase console all right so here okay so you will be here okay so what you need to do is you need to click on here and go to project settings okay so now okay so first of all let me remove the user which is here okay so just go to project settings and after that there will be your application okay and you need to do is you need to add the fingerprint okay in my case I have already added so I will remove that okay so you just need to paste that here click add fingerprint and just paste the SHA1 code here and click save okay there you go so now you have this okay fingerprint added so now you just uh, you just need to go back and after that what you need to do is you need to open your android studio and go to build.gradle and here you need to add a dependency compile com.google dot android dot gms play dash services out and you can say 11.8.0 all right now you just need to click on sync now all right guys so now the build.gradle uh, is finished so now what we need to do is now we need to work on our app so first of all let's okay so here we have this button so what you need is you can say sign in button match parent and wrap content okay and there you can have an id for that so you can say id uh, my google button all right so now just close that and let's go back here in our in your profile activity sorry login activity okay and now you need to go to this part okay the documentation of uh, Google sign in here okay so first of all these are the steps I have told you you you, you need to uh, add the dependency after that you need to add the fingerprint SHA1 and also make sure you have integrated the firebase in your Android project okay after you complete all these steps so you need first of all okay so here you need to first of all copy that okay just copy it and paste it in your on create method 
are white now after that you need what you need is okay you also need this so you copy that and paste it here all right and here you can see there is a sign yeah, rc sign in so it will only uh, contain an integer so you can say 101 all right guys so <laughs> now what you need is we need to uh, initialize this google sign in client okay so for that we create an object google sign in client and we say m google sign in client all right and we can initialize that m google sign in client equals to google sign in dot get client and first of all we will send the reference or context of this activity and then we need to send the google sign in option okay gso all right guys so this is the way so here in our sign in uh, whenever the user clicks on this button so it will ask for the account already signed in account in your android device okay so now what you need to do is next you need to also copy that the own activity result method all right so let's paste that here okay so here we have a lot of a lot of er errors so just okay so here since we use the 101 so we will just say 101 all right and let's remove the tag from here and now there is only one exception here or error so we need to create a method firebase out with google all right so now what we can do here i mean we can now need okay so here we also need the firebase out let's see if we already have the authentication okay so here we need to add the out equals to firebase out dot get instance okay so after that we need is the method here so we just need to copy that okay in our firebase out with google and let's change m out to out also remove the tag just remove it also and remove okay so here also we need to change that to out all right and here we can say okay we now need to uh, okay let's see if we have caught any other error okay here we have this uh, error, so we can say account all right so now all the errors are gone so here when the user is successfully uh, logged in so we need to say intent i equals to new intent and let's say get application context profile activity dot class and we say start activity i all right and instead also we say toast dot uh, user logged in successfully and in our else part we can say corner login user all right that is it for now so we also here need to add finish here all right so now we need to initialize our button so we say sign in button okay and in the last part we say sign in button equals to sign in button find you by id or dot id dot google what was the id
my button okay let's say it change it to my button and we can say my button all right so now we can say sign in button dot set on click listener new on click listener so in here we just need to cut that all right and paste it here okay and we remove that all right guys that's it it's very simple it was just uh, uh, a little bit of copy pasting all right so let me now connect my android phone so that i show you the output so let me also open the side sync app all right guys so here we have the uh, android phone connected so let's run the uh, app and let's see if it works or not okay so here i am there so now we need to go to login and here we have this button so i will click on that button so here you can see choose account for firebase okay so if i select this one so here you can see that user logged in successfully and here also my email address is displayed here all right guys and if i if we click on log out so now the it is logged out all right guys if you like the video please like share and subscribe to my channel goodbye